I hear more. This way. Come on. Spores ahead. Masks. Okay. We gotta keep moving. Here we go. So which is it? Are they guards or trespassers? First death. Okay. Oh shit. They shouldn't hear 
Grab what you can. And then we'll see. She called us B. Ah, this way's blocked. Jules. Oh. I hope you made it out and find this. The two of us got into a minor dust up with some clickers, but we're still in one piece. Hold up here for the night to look our wounds. The long dead body of a man washed over us. A gruesome reminder of why we're doing this. The infection, it really was a warning. Better to live off the land than remain in this rotting mess. Zachary says if we keep heading north, we'll hit the Seraphite encampment in the next couple days. He's, he calls it Haven, and they built it all themselves. Hearing him talk about it, it was hard not to get inspired, even optimistic. I pray for your safety. I hate to think of what Isaac will do if his goons catch you. I'll be holding my breath, waiting for a sign that you're okay. Gray. Maybe through here? Did you hear what they kept calling us? Scars. I wonder if that's who made all those murals. And gutted all those wolves. Everyone in this city's a fucking psycho. <sighs> no shit. <sighs> There's an opening down here. seen anything like this? Bloaters have acid spores. But that didn't sound like a bloater. Oh, fuck. Whatever the fuck they're fighting, we should let them kill each other. Agreed. Are we about to see you in anything? <laughs> another ladder across there. Okay. How do we get to it? <clears throat> That'll do. Okay. <laughs> A 
ladder's broken. Damn it. Good job, babe. Good idea. Got another sandwich! Just get out of here! Shit. Oh, oh, no. Watch out! Ah. I got you! I got you! Fuck! Oh, no. these assholes. Did they get you? No, I'm clean. Shamblers? Is that what they call them? Yeah. Where the hell do shamblers come from? I don't fucking know, but they're disgusting. Ugh, look at those acid burns. No, I'm good. came across a new enemy type. <laughs> Something worse than a floater? Uh... Inconceivable! <laughs> Inconceivable! Shambler. How... How are... There? How are their new infected? Let's see where this takes us. Take your time. Almost done. Okay. Looks clear, far as I can see. Good. Uh, shamblers? As if the others weren't bad enough. <laughs> Guess that's nature for you. Yeah, well, nature's an asshole.
Hey Dewey, forget the code again. Get me a soda and the code is yours. Miraculous survival in the suburb, suburb thought abandoned. Over Queen Anne, military forces were surprised yesterday to discover a whole community alive and well, while the surrounding neighborhoods were entirely overrun with victims of the cordyceps infection that's been ravaging the nation. These survivors had managed to keep their streets and homes clear all by themselves for the past six months. Found just days away from running out of food is a story worth of, worthy of calling a miracle. The community members unanimously credited their survival to one woman, Paige's Storm. Then just any ordinary prepper she had, we stocked her bunker with enough supplies from her entire neighborhood. When asked what inspired her, da da da, answer was she'd had a vision of da da da, catastrophe attributing the out da 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 to a divine ritual. So that's how the Seraphite started. Other survivors were quick to agree. The darkness she guided us. Mm. The foresight to gather. She knew you'd find. Needed to do what was. Needed to do was. Meant. Once soldiers chat wanted to only request less than the unprecedented danger to the current refused. Well, you need. Well, I'm just. Shit. Needs a combination. Do I have to break that? <laughs> Code is one five two question question mark. And I know okay enough hence we can't figure out the can't figure the rest out. I'm with the wrong man. Enjoy. Five two. Um. Dr. Daniela Starr. Home planet Earth, brains 100, bronze 60, affiliation future alliance. Recruited by Spark Century 22 out of Titan's Best Science Academy, brilliant Daniela Starr was assigned to the Ion Engine development team. Under the watchful eye of her colleagues, she came up with plans that exceeded everyone's wildest expectations. But when she learned her superiors planned user technology for energy weapons, she scuttled her research and fled to Ganymede. Now under the protection of the future alliance, she is on the verge of developing mankind's first faster than light vessel. Ugh, oh, I wanna figure out this code.
Here. I'm gonna say some kind of train crash. Thanks, Sherlock. <laughs> Jesus. I wonder how long they kept these running past outbreak day. I see some light up that way. Up we go then. Do you know? Yeah, coming. Sorry, Dina. Getting closer to light. Hey, let me get you up there. Yeah. What you got? Let's rally. You okay? We're almost out. Lead on. Mm -hmm. I make sure Dina gets some rest. <clears throat> She's not gonna die on us right now. Oh, no. ah. Tina. 
Come on, come on. Hey. What do you say we rest in that theater? <sighs> that sounds so fucking good. <clears throat> Almost there. You want to tell me what's going on with you? What's going on with me? Ellie, I just saw you breathe spores. I told you. I'm immune. Okay. You're immune? Come on. I was bitten a long time ago. The fuck are you talking about? I was bitten and nothing happened. The chemical burn. Maria and Tommy and Joel are the only ones who know. New. Now you know. I can't get you infected if that's what you're worried about. I can't make you immune either. Something. Really? I think I'm pregnant. Oh my god. What? 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 Don't worry, it's not yours. <laughs> what are we... What are we supposed to do now? What do you know why are you here? Nothing. I just need to rest for a second. Are you fucking kidding me? How long have you known? <sighs> it was late a few weeks ago. A few weeks? We could have... We could have still turned back. Well, I didn't know... I wasn't sure, okay? I didn't want to be a burden. Well, you're a burden now, aren't you? Oh, Ellie, no. That's not fair. That's Firefly talk. I'm gonna make sure this place is secure. You just rest. Oh, dude, Ellie. That was not cool. At all. Especially because, you know, Dina doesn't think that way at all.
Yeah, that's not fair. Especially because it's really hard. It is a. It's harder to know that you're actually pregnant because missing or having your period be late could be due to so many things. Especially like for Dina, could have it could have just been the stress of leaving Jackson and comp- accompanying Ellie. I don't know. That's not fair. That's not cool, Ellie. I don't know, I could do so many things. It's not, you can never be sure of your body. Bodies do weird things. September 4th, me, Perez, Green, and Adams made it to the listening post two days ago and so far so good. WLF haven't come looking here yet. The city's lost to the WLF. We escaped headquarters out of sheer luck and good timing. Torres, Ward, and the others are probably dead, camping here, grateful to be alive for now. September 6th, can't sleep, burning up with a fever, no medicine, looked everywhere. We don't have anything except the uniforms on our backs, no contact from anyone on the radio either. How many of us made it out? September 7th, still feverish, don't have any big cuts, so probably not an infection. The others are waiting until nightfall, then making a run to the hospital to get medicine for me and supplies for wherever we're going next. They're good guys. September 10th, shouldn't be taking this long. No, no. Okay, this note's old. Still, better be careful. Anything in here? Nice little fort. September 13th. Uh, I don't think they're, com- they're coming back. Slashed out. They're not coming back. Either got ambushed or they ditched me. Not my fault I got sick. At least the fever's gone, but now I'm fucking starving. Can probably raid the buildings nearby for food and see if I can raise someone on the radio. September 15th. Constant rain means I at least won't die of thirst. Fortunately, it keeps making the electricity conk out all the time. It makes it kind of hard to use the radio. Not like anyone's answering anyway. The WLF can't have hit all the federal listening posts. No way. Need to keep trying. September 16th. Dreamt they were laughing as I slowly bled out, bled out from a gut shot. Woke up an hour ago still shaking. Need a cigarette. you think there'd be a back or two stash somewhere in a fucking theater, but apparently not this one. <laughs> September 19th. Power went out again. Going to head to the roof and see if I can get it back on. Well, if he's dead and somewhere in this building, he's going to be on the roof, so I guess I'll... Need to get the power going. Are you fried? Guess you weren't much of an electrician.
Oh, there we go. What's this? Just thinking about All that. Right. <laughs> Maybe I missed something downstairs, but nope. Damn, first try. All right. Oh. Watching a movie in this place. Sick habit. Frat. With brick shit houses. Pinnacle Theater 9, 14, 13, 25 dollars at the door. All proceeds to benefit Seattle Seattle Children's Center. Sick habit set list. Settle for less. Who can say? Once more <laughs> unto the breach instead of into hideout running towards my problems. Session. The light of two minds. Encore, Armstrong and Holly, QED. Spooky. No way. Storm sound like something. Oh, I suck. <sighs> Just need to build up your calluses, that's all. Yeah. All right, come on. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm gonna start guessing. You wanna spoil your surprise now? I don't know. Is it a dinosaur? Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. <sighs> All right. Is it an elephant? <sighs> <laughs> Is it a convertible? You're not going to guess. Is it a puppy? Is it a lot of kittens? You mean a litter? What's a litter? A bunch of kittens. Why wouldn't you call it just a bunch of kittens? <laughs> I don't know what it's called a litter. <laughs> Mind your step. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he gonna teach her how to swim? 
<laughs> oh, Sherry learned. What's wrong with you? You should see <laughs> me right now. What am I drown? No, you're not gonna drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's this way. You're the worst. Oh, yay. <laughs> don't just flail about. You got the water with your whole arm. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. Hey, look, come here. Take a look at this. You see that deer over there? Where? You see it? Just through there. Look. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. Looks like. <laughs> <laughs> How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. It's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. Can't dive in. It might be too shallow for that. Woo! Yeah! You're gonna need to dive under here. Right, take a deep breath. Yeah, I got this. Sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick. I beg your pardon? My friend and I would argue whenever he called the Fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. You know, you really need to stop letting people rile you up. Hard on their dicks. Point still stands. All right, got another dive over here. Where are you taking me? Sneakers? How many of those do you have? Not enough. <laughs> there. Okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Well, good. No, she's but, not. Like, is it a <laughs> massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? Yes. Listen, which one? Just, yes. How about laser discs? I heard that's a thing. Is this where she gets the don the dinosaur pamphlet? Holy shit, Joel. We're here. Oh my god, it is a dinosaur! <laughs> Joel! Surprise. Holy shit. Oh, it's a motherfucking dinosaur. King of the tyrant lizards. That's a big boy. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is what we saw in the beginning. Wait, wait, wait. So is it a deer, not a giraffe? I thought it was a giraffe. Tell 
Tell me Joel. Farming rotation blows. I don't get why people ask for this assignment. Note to self, talk to Marie about how early I can sign up for patrol training. <laughs> Dina and I... Oh, so they were... Okay. Oh, yeah. Dina talked about that. Dina and I found this cool old campground today. She said kids used to go there in the summers for fun. We found all these art supplies. She cut colored paper and made some crowns for us while it rained outside. It was a good day. Joel said he's taking me on a camping trip next week for my birthday. He found something he said I'll love. He's acting very proud of himself. Smug, old fogey. <laughs> Cat sat next to me at movie night. Our elbows kept touching. I think she was doing it on purpose. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably. Probably not. Did you spell probably wrong? <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Gina made me a crown for my birthday. She went back to the camp and got all this paper. It's pretty great. So that's where she developed her relationship to the cat, I guess. <gasps> cute. Can I go on it? What are you doing? <laughs> uh, Ellie, be, be careful. I'm climbing a dinosaur! Yeah, I can see that. Just Fuck don't yeah. die falling off of one. Look at me! I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur! <laughs> whoa, 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 what are you doing? Don't jump. Just climb down. Yeah, so Oh, wasn't it awesome? It's awesome that you didn't break anything. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. The Wyoming Museum of Science and History. We didn't know how shallow that water was. <laughs> Maria. She uh she told me about it. Figured it'd be right up your alley. Figured right. What's this? Uh, it's a book? <sighs> it's a dinosaur book. Mm, okay. All right. <laughs> mm? Oh, man. <laughs> you want to try it on? I do not. Your loss. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Can we make him try it on? Come on, Joel, try it on. I want to touch it. <laughs> oh. oh, look at those talons. That is a velociraptor. Actually, it's a D. Dionanicus. Mm, pretty sure these are velociraptors. Yeah. I mean, at least that's what they call them in this movie I saw. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. Joel, it's for you. Very funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Do you get it? It's because you're old. No, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Platinum Legacy Presents Club. Oh, these are all the donors. 
Comp Sognathus? Comp Sognathus? Comp Sognathus. Whew. That's a big name for little guys. Yeah, they'd swarm you. Did you see that in a movie too? Actually, yeah. But a different one. See, there's a sequel. <laughs> Wasn't as good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Giants of the past. Step back through time to over 65 million years ago when dinosaurs and other prehistoric giants roamed the earth. In our giant's pavilion, you'll find full skeletons on display. See how you'd measure up next to our triceratops, uh, Winnie, and don't forget to look up. There are pterodactyls, pter pterodactyls circling afterward. Head into, Joel, head into our annexes to get hands, yes, hands on with fossils of footprints, feathers, and more. Yes, I'm a child. When it comes to museums, I love being doing all hands on stuff. <laughs> Tiny head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. That is a <laughs> hat on a dinosaur. It's called a hatosaur. <laughs> hatosaur. <laughs> it's actually a stegosaurus, apparently. Oh, did she just did? Red to the dinosaur. That's so cute. Triceratops. Winnie. Oh. Hey, is this gonna be a thing? <laughs> Please don't let it be a thing. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> hey. Yes, put it on. Yes. Ellie. <clears throat> don't you dare take it off. My birthday. My rules. Oh, it's her birthday. Whoa, this one's brain was the size of a walnut. Oh, no way. Looks like you two have something in common. 